Hey guys, Batman here, and this is my custom LEGO Star Wars Battlefront Boba Fett minifigure showcase. And uh, guys, you voted for him, you got like 10 votes, this was like the most votes I've gotten for any figure, so thank you guys for all that support and voting for this figure. Uh, you guys really, uh, really, really did as I wanted to plan it. Uh, I wanted to have Darth Vader as the kind of the finishing figure because he was probably one of my best figures, and uh, just, he was... A really, I think he was a good figure to end the series off with. So, uh, yeah, this is the last series you guys can be able to vote. So, uh, sorry, this is the last of the voting. Uh, you know, the last, last video was the last video you guys could vote for any figure. And uh, so sorry about that, but the end of the series is coming up close. Gonna have to be doing the last two figures after this one, which is gonna be after this one. It's gonna be Jyn Erso, and then I'm going to be doing my custom LEGO Star Wars Battlefront Darth Vader. So, uh... Yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into this figure showcase. Oh, yeah, so here is the mini figure. This is my custom LEGO Star Wars Battlefront Boba Fett. And, uh, yeah, guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it, starting with the legs. Now, the legs are the standard LEGO printed uh, Boba Fett legs that came in, like, comes in basically every Boba Fett that you basically get from every set uh, that Boba Fett's in, obviously. And uh, the chest right here, the torso right there is basically 3d version of the Boba Fett torso which I actually most not recently but kind of recently uh, switched and I re-sculpted it because the old one was really really bad and I think this one is like 10 times better so I did this one and uh, this one looks really good as well and uh, basically back to the legs uh, the legs are painted with some boots all the way not boots but shoes all the way around and uh, painted a late bluish gray instead of that bluish like uh, sand blue color and the arms have the standard Mandalorian like armor pieces and then the uh, bounty hunter symbol as you guys can see right there you guys can see that that bounty hunter logo right there with the white and stuff and because uh, he doesn't have he does have it on his arm but it's a lot smaller than that because i cannot paint that small uh that's probably the smallest i could paint the logo but uh yeah the flame lo the fame flame piece that i really like i've had for a while uh i guess i'm gonna take that off for right now and then you can see the jet pack right here is uh the standard area light jet pack that they make and that's uh, really cool the rocket is detachable but I'm not going to take it off because it might take a little while to put back on and I don't want to waste time in this video so uh, not gonna do that and uh, basically I repainted it and because it was really just not that well of a good color so I repainted it and airbrushed it I think it looks a lot better so that's the jetpack his gun is a standard is a not standard but a brick forge blaster I don't know what it's called I think it's called the it's called the headhunter rifle but uh, Brickford doesn't sell it anymore. I'm really glad I got it before they stocked out of him. Just move his hand. Yeah, but really cool blaster. Uh, I think it's a lot better than the Brick Arms one because it's just not, it doesn't look like an S pretty much. And this one is just a lot more accurate. And I really like it a lot better. Airbrushed it with some silver and airbrushed a little black on the butt of the gun right there. A little black and dark brown to make it a really dark brown. And airbrushed that on. And then I actually did some sand color onto this blaster and some silver to make it look all worn. And uh, the belt right here is actually just using some cardboard, like a very thin kind of cardboard material I use. And uh, basically glued that on there and uh, made little pouches out of it. And uh, the helmet is a standard Boba Fett helmet that I sculpted onto. And uh, the rangefinder is movable as well, so you can range find you can put that rangefinder down. And I think that's pretty cool. And the head is the head is just a the old Boba Fett head that Lego would use, which I wish they would go back to this because it's a ton better than the stupid clone head that they've been using, which is not very good. But uh, yeah, so again, I'm sorry guys for the cold I have. Uh, I just can't get rid of it, and uh, you know I had, I'm recovering from a cold. That's why I sound like this. But uh, yes, yeah, so that has to be it for the end of the video. So without further ado. Let's go ahead and end this video off. Okay, so that has to be it for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. And uh, yeah, like I said in the beginning of the intro, you guys cannot vote anymore, so don't try and vote for any figure. Uh, sorry, I just don't want like people spamming voting for stuff. I'm just gonna have to keep replying to all the comments and saying you guys can't vote. But uh, yeah, you guys can't vote. Sorry about that. But uh, you know, you just 
can't because I'm going to be doing the order. I'm going to be doing it now, which is going to be Jenner. So is the next hero, and she's the only hero that's left. And then Darth Vader is the only hero. That, yeah, Darth Vader is the only villain that's left. So, uh, I mean, if I let you guys vote, it would be for which one you guys want first. But uh, I want to. I want to have Darth Vader as a finishing figure. So I'm going to be doing that. And uh, yeah, so sorry about this video it was not that great because I have a cold. I'm recovering from uh, as I'm recording this video so sorry about that but uh, yeah anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys did enjoy please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time